All right, so in this lecture, we have seen how to train support vector machines. Linear support vector machines are trained by finding a hyperplane that separates two classes with margins. So basically, if we have something like this, let's say we have two classes, so one is going to be denoted by cross, the other one is going to be denoted by um, a dot, All right? Um, we want to separate them by a hyperplane. So this is what it looks like. But sometimes it is impossible, so which means that we are going to allow some margins. And within the margins, we allow misclassification. So in this case, um, so this observation is misclassified and this observation is misclassified. So nonlinear support vector machines is basically the same thing, only with the help of a so-called kernel trick, we make the decision boundary nonlinear. So basically, this could be our decision boundary. So this could be our margins, right? And then on one side, we have one class of the decision boundary. And probably some observations are misclassified, which means they are going to be um, on the wrong side of the uh, decision boundary, but still within the margins. And this is my other class, so almost everything sits here, right? But maybe some observations are going to be misclassified. And those observations that sit in the, um, within the margins, they are called support vectors. So the final classifier only depends on support vectors, right? So support vectors, so these support vectors are some subset of our uh, training data. So these are a certain collection of training observations. Not, not all of them, just some of them. So if we have 5,000 training observations, then maybe out of them, probably 40 are going to be labeled as our support vectors. And geometrically, these are those 40 that uh, belongs, they, they, uh, they are between the margins, on the margins and between the margins. Okay, uh, now the most suitable kernel is found basically by just trial and error. So we just experiment and see what works best. So we have seen a number of different kernels. So usually we try linear, quadratic, probably cubic, and um, Gaussian kernel or radial basis. It's, it, it's the same thing. If it doesn't work, then we can try it, try other kernel. Um, and this is the checklist. So basically we have seen the geometry, so or the intuition behind the support vector machine. Uh, we have seen how to convert the, this geometry to an optimization problem. So for a maximal margin classifier, so this may not exist. And soft margin classifier is the same as linear SVM. Right, so we have seen how to convert this to quadratic optimization. So optimize, uh, find a minimum of some quadratic function subject to linear constraints. Right, and then um, soft margin classifier plus kernel trick equals SVM, nonlinear SVM. Okay, so this is the main takeaway in the lecture, and this is what, what you need to understand. And one more thing is that parameters of SVM that can be tuned via cross-validation. So in the lab, we are going to see how to actually do it in R. Okay, so this is the end of the lecture. Thank you for your attention.